Should political leaders and figures be extroverts? I think there are non-obvious ways to lead. Leadership does not need to be dramatic, first in the air, and the trumpets blaring in activity. Written by Scott Durncon. Political leaders and figures are put on higher platforms where they are judged on their personality instead of their work ethics. These leaders and figures are categorized as either introverted or extroverted. Extroverted leaders are figures that are outgoing, talkative, and sociable. Introverted leaders are figures that are reserved, self-absorbed, and adaptable. Not all political leaders and figures should contain an extroverted personality. Throughout the history of our nation, we have had many political leaders and figures who were considered as extroverted figures. Thomas Jefferson, John F. Kennedy, and James Madison were just examples of presidents that were criticized on their personality. These presidents have many accomplishments and benefited our nation while in turn being an extrovert. Introverted political leaders and figures don't connect with the nation emotionally. Abraham Lincoln is one of the most honored introverted presidents in history. Lincoln was known for keeping his emotions to himself and not expressing them to the nation. He would take a humble step back and quietly resolve the problems of our nation. In the Emancipation Proclamation, the nation is able to connect emotionally and deep side with Lincoln. He was able to address the nation through ethical and emotional appeal. Our nation's political leaders and figures have been in many situations where their true personality has been shown in the eye of the public. While analyzing war ethics, being involved in national affairs, and being the leader of the administration are just a few ways that the leaders show their true personality. People may say that introverted political leaders have difficulties communicating with others. There has been claims where people say that being an introverted may cause miscommunication, causing our nation's security to be at risk. Dwight Eisenhower was an introverted Republican president who gathered his knowledge and administration skills to be able to lead us to war. Through these situations, the nation was able to see that this president was a quiet strategizer who kept himself. Having to be a leader in the war meant that he would have great com communication skills. Even though he was introverted, he did many great things for our nation during the war. Introverted people are some of the smartest people due to their ability to analyze at a distance and gather all information needed. As we have seen in our nation, that our introverted leaders and figures do not like to be in the limelight of our nation. They keep to themselves and try to stay away from the publicity. This says a lot about a person's personality. Many presidents, including former President Obama, stayed away from the negativity publicity. He focused on what was important to him and created positive news amongst our nation. Many people have perspectives that introversion is still a liability in politics. Yes, this may be true, but if we have many presidents that had the ability to run our nation with great leadership skills, then why are we still being judged? Introverted leaders may have the same leadership skills as introverted leaders. As we have seen, many presidents had different personality types. Whether they were extroverted or or introverted leaders, these presidents had great analyzing and communication skills. So then, you don't have to have an extroverted personality to be a introvert to be a leader that will make a difference in this nation.